Okay, it started. Of course okay. it is. So you're going to click resume on your screen. You know where it is, right? Yeah. And you're going to start by in the catalog section where you are. You're going to go add title. Yes, I remember that. Okay. Okay, now it's set to look up ISBN numbers. So you're going to scan the ISBN number of the barcode of the book. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Okay, and now you just have the one option for this book. So you're going to click on the title. Okay. And you're going to add copy. I remember that. All right, so you're going to take the next barcode label off the sheet. And you're going to add it to the upper, on the back of the book, upper right hand corner. And then you go ahead and scan that label. Okay. And the next section is call number. And we don't use FIC here, so you just highlight that whole thing. Right, so we're using Metis, and so that's why we're deleting fiction, because we're not going to enter a Dewey Decimal System um, number. Exactly. Right, we're going to enter a Metis um, call number, a call feature. And so this is a higher grade level book, so it starts with a... Star. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, and do you remember, so this is a... So this is a hybrid, right? Because it has both text and pictures in it. Exactly. And so we're using that hybrid. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're starting with, uh, V is all graphic novels, and hybrid falls into that category. Mm -hmm. So you're going to do V. And then I can see that we already have hybrid kenny, so yep. I can click on that. Yep, exactly. Okay, cool. And the purchase price, I'm going to um, round up. The, the U.S. price is thirteen ninety five, so I'm going to enter fourteen, and I don't have to enter a um, a dollar sign there. Correct. Right. We don't charge tax or shipping here. Mm -hmm. Some libraries choose to do that. We don't. Okay. Um, circulation type is just going to be regular. Mm -hmm. Right. And then the date acquired, I can just leave it as today's date, mm -hmm. which is the default. Okay. Under copy categories, we want to update that so we can see, because we don't use uh, Dewey Decimal numbers to mm -hmm. kind of break up what we have in the catalog or the system, mm -hmm. we want to make sure that we add the um, the type so we can get a good count statistic-wise of what we have. So I'm going to go down there and I'm going to select V hybrid. Correct. Okay. And then um, I, there isn't a save feature. Okay. Just the OK. Just the OK. Mm -hmm. All right. And then um, some notes. Do I want to go and grab a description of this book? Nope, that's already in because you're doing copy cataloging. Uh, so it's already added. That it'll in. already be there. Yep. So I chose the book. Exactly. Okay, cool. So you're going to go ahead and save copies. Okay. Um, now I know that the Diary of a Wimpy Kid. This is number eleven. Do I need to do that, or is that already done as well? That should be done, but we can double check. If you save right now, this is just looking at this individual copy, not the mark record as a whole for the book. Okay, so, so save, save the copy. copy. Yep. Okay. And now you're still looking at, if you look in the right hand side midway, it says copies mm -hmm. with an orange, yep. So you're just looking at this particular copy for the book. If you want to look at all the title information, yeah. you click on title details. Okay, so I'll click on title details. And you can see under the series, title, yes, Diary of exactly. a Wimpy Kid 11. Yes. Okay, good. So it's showing all of that information. That lets people know. Okay. Yeah. And the kids do generally like to know chronological order, so I try anytime it's a series, I try and update that information. If that information weren't here or weren't accurate, if you click on edit title mm -hmm. and then under series notes tab. Oh here. Mm -hmm, you'll see where it says Diagrampy Kid, mm -hmm. semicolon. Now you can actually edit this where it says volume number. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, we would usually write VK for book, mm -hmm. period, and then the number. So, if so that would happen here. So it actually, the next line down. Oh, okay. Where it says that. So if you put your cursor before 11 uh -huh. and just add VK, period, all lowercase. Oh. Just for consistency's sake. Some libraries do different. And then okay. a space between those two. Okay. And then um, scroll down. Uh huh. Oh, sorry. Um, scroll down where? Scroll all the way down to the bottom of the screen because oh, okay. you're done and you want to save the title. Oh, thank you. Okay, yeah, good. And we're almost out of time. So. Yes. Can you repeat that again? Okay. You're all set. Next thing will be to print labels and we can do that on a different uh, video. Okay, great. All set. Thank you. Good job. Cool. Thanks. That sounds awesome. Okay.
Good deal. Oh, we got a high five or not?